Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 27 of Let's Play Queen's Wish The Conqueror. We're in the Smoky Peaks. For some reason. Oh, we just bought that magma orb. Okay, so. Let's see. Um. Conlon's pit is a little too difficult for us. Let's see what we're going to do today. Drowning Gaul is a little too, too difficult for us. Um, Flint Pit. A Petty Warlord. Um, maybe we can try that. Um, Castle Andesite was too difficult for us. Let's go ahead and head back to Haven. And get some runes installed. Let's buy some runes, actually. From our alchemist. Actually, augments for the uh, large magma orb, or solid magma orb. Um... I think we want to get some healing bonus. Blessing duration. She doesn't really bless. Um, staunching augment. Let's see if we have a healing augment. No. Let's go ahead and buy a healing augment. And, um, maybe a, we have a staunching one, right? There's a staunching one in, oh, uh, in this orb there's a staunching one. No, physical armor. Where did we have a staunching, uh, Staunching. Oh, in the Amber Orb. So let's go ahead and also buy a Staunching Augment. Let's see here, actually. Let's, um, check out her stats. Her, uh, physical defense 12 and 18. 14 and 6. 18 and 7. Yeah, so actually we should just go ahead and put the uh, healing bonus and physical armor in that because she's going to need the physical armor. So let's get some solid magma orb. Let's put um, iron augment and healing bonus in there. Very nice. Still hanging on to this stuff. Um, let's go armor. Let's go ahead and take the uh, augment out of here for five coins. And I guess we can go ahead and sell the amethyst orb. Unless we can go ahead and give it to Elspeth. No. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell that. Something we can pretty much sell with certainty. Um, got a physical armor. Another physical... Oh, it's the only physical armor. Um... Okay. Alright, so let's go check in <coughs> with Miranda. The portal has a message. Um, status of level three. Um, 
Um, now, what I was thinking, guys, that I meant to mention in a previous episode, maybe the last one or the one before it was, since, you know, um, we're earning so much stone and so little iron and quicksilver, I think it would make sense to dabble in the other regions as well. So I may head west to the Ukat um, and, and meet with the Ukatish because... Uh, maybe we can get some iron flowing as well rather than just all stone just dealing with the vol. So I think that's a good strategy, but you hear your older brother. Matthew, are you there? His voice is muffled. Sounds like he's eating. Been waiting for you. Need to talk. It's good to hear your voice. Really? Oh, dear. <clears throat> Sacramento must be driving you mad. Anyway, it's been almost a month. I need the status report. What kind of a status report? Well, we've been getting bits of information here and there. We need to know how you think you, we are doing. Rebuilding forts, contacting our vassals, regaining control. Mm. Things are going very well. That matches what we have heard. You've done quite a bit for just a few weeks. Keep up the good work. And then he is gone. Okay, that's good. We actually are making good progress then. Um, I guess we're done here because we can't really buy anything. Yeah, it might make sense to deal with the other regions as well. Rather than just... But then there's a civil war going on and we need to act swiftly. So what did the council say to us at Madraka? First you need to negotiate with them, get them to agree and decide if they are who you want. Oh, we have to go talk to General Aquila. Let's go ahead and try that. Um... Rusty General Aquila General Aquila sits at her desk which has car been carried out here and set on the gravel it is covered with maps and scrolls the general and her work bake in the sun I passed the fort and met a Vol envoy tell the story you describe the battles within the only the Owen are brave, foolhardy perhaps. They have certainly gravely insulted us. However, the courage they showed should be noted. I met an Owen named Castus. Describe him. I see. So that is who ordered the attack on my soldiers. With your permission, Prince, I would discuss him later. As for the envoy, that is a promising start. If you are patient, Prince, I would give you more advice. I would like some advice about taming the ball. Of course. Queen Sharon selected me because my expertise might be useful. Based on my past campaigns, I can describe the steps those in your position usually follow to get a vassal to obey a treaty they sign. You are, however, the prince. It will be your decision whether to take my humble advice or not. I can enter the vault now. Now what? Our records show there are two cities nearby, Vitasa and Mirba. There is much to be learned from understanding the situation in the vault. Then you can decide who might rule. The vault under our direction in return for our help. Talk to the leaders of those two towns and learn what you can. Tell me about Vitasa. Vitasa is a large, wealthy city to the southwest, controlled by the Mascha. My scouts say that it still appears significant. Tell me about Merba. Merba is a more humble mining town to the south, on the battle line between rebels and masters. It has been scorched by war. It appears to my scouts to be controlled by the Mascha for now, but that might change any day. What if they just try to kill me? I think it is unlikely. They sent the envoy, after all. I think all sides of the war will be begging for our help. If not, I'm sure the queen would not have sent you if she couldn't. If you couldn't keep yourself safe. You can imagine Sutter laughing himself silly if he heard her say that. Why don't you just invade the ball now? 
I must stress, I don't have enough force. Haven soldiers are the best in the known world, but 300 is not enough to conquer a nation. Queen Sharon was clear. I can cross the border when you have found an ally and order me to go to their aid. Not before. You wanted to talk more about... Um, I met the leaders of Vitasa and Merba. You tell the general what you learned. She takes careful notes and has a soldier carry them to Rusty. A profitable first step. You should also begin to establish our strength in the vault. Cody can tell you more about that. If I might ask, do you have any early thoughts on the rebellion? I sympathize with the Owen. I can see why you might be affected by, uh, moral considerations. Your mother instructed me to help you if you decided to help the Owen. Bear in mind, however, that the bribes the Owen give you for aid will be far less than what the Mosh to offer. If you wish more advice, I do have some. Like advice? Of course. Queen Sharon selecting me on my expertise might be useful. Oh. How would you proceed now? We know where the centers of power in the Vol are now. Thobalin to the west, longtime capital and home of the Masha's High Council. Madraka to the south, an ancient fortress and the headquarters of the Rebellion. Either of these forces has the power to take over the Vol and serve as our vassals. Where are you? I would travel to each fort, meet with the leaders there, and see if they are willing to deal. How did you learn about those places? I started to funnel in scouts, spies, and caravans of supplies the day after you opened the Vol gates. Vadasa has not interfered. They bring back information to me constantly. Why do you think Thobalin and Madraka will meet with me? Each is desperate. The war is brutal, and neither side has the upper hand. They are all terrified. And here you come, offering the chance for easy victory. I think they will welcome you with open arms. What is the goal here? I only know what your mother the queen told me. She wants the vault to be controlled by whoever will live by the treaty she, they signed with us. She wants our forts back. She wants profitable trade. She wants tribute. I will see what I can do. I wish you the best, Prince. The hopes me and my of me and my soldiers go with you. All right, so we should have been checking in. Um, I'd like to see your papers. Um, what I want to do now... Oh, Cody can tell us more about that. What does Cody say? You say you have valuable information. I've been studying the Vol. I know ways that could make our colony here stronger, quickly. I'm a quartermaster. I can make good deals. I can get supplies. However, we need to establish trading first. If you went to the leaders of Vitasa and Merba and told them they could send traders to us here, I will make it worth the time. How can I get to those towns? Cody pulls a map out of his pocket. It's a grimy, hastily made copy, but it says what it needs to. Vitasa is west of the Vol Gates. Merba is south. If the Vol are as organized as they have been, there should be signs on the road. What message do I give? Well, you're a prince, so they'll listen to you. Just say, come to the gates. We'll trade. We won't attack them. Even in a time of war, I'm sure the Vol wants to make money. They are a land of traders. <clears throat> You'd use a prince of haven to run errands. Cody looks away. I'm sorry, prince. I meant no offense. It's just we can't do it ourselves. General Aquila says that we can't go over the border until you have a treaty in place that allows it. The Queen's command. Oh, so that's something new. Let's go to Vitasa and Merba and try to set up trade if we can. And let's also go to Thobalin. Which I think is going to be a good move. Let's go to Merba. Um, Merba City Hall. Some Haven business to discuss. Quartermaster of South... Uh, do you? Of course. I may be able to help you within limits. The Quartermaster of South Battalion has a message for you. He would like to establish trade. A guard comes forward. Governor Veer Alar Mashta whispers to her. He leaves the Great Hall for a few minutes. When he returns, the governor says, Thank you for this information. I will send merchants through the Vol Gates. Once trade is in place, we will make sure that you are rewarded. I have rebuilt one of Haven's forts. Yes, the Masha, Masha helped with this. We made sure General Aquila's caravans and guards were safe from raiders. 
The Maestro only want to be useful to Haven. In return, we hope you are useful to us. I have no more business. All right. Please have some refreshments, and no one refills your cups and plates. That is all. And please enjoy the safety of Merba. It is the only oasis for miles around. Hmm. So we established trade with the Mascha. That can't be good for the Owen. Merba Smithy is Boomer. Um... Dorothy's Bakery. All right, let's go to Vitasa and set up trade. That's a sand patch in. I've retaken Worma's bowl. Yes, the citizens are sent word. As promised, that quarry is ready to begin sending Stoat to Fort West Bay. I hope you remember this offering when making your decision in the future. Your offering is accepted, and it is not the only one. We have a second offering for you. I want to discuss Haven's business in the vault. He nervously scratches at his arm. I will help you all I can. Remember, however, that all important decisions must be, must be made by us Mascha and the Thobalin Council. I will help you all I can within my bounds. The Quartermaster of South Battalion has a message for you. He'd like to establish trade. And Owen comes forward. Alistair whispers to her. She takes notes. Thank you for this information. I will send merchants through the Vol Gates. Once trade is in place, I think you will find your cut justifies your effort. <clears throat> what do you think of the Vol's treaty with Haven? Myself? When I was born, it had been signed. I grew up with the wealth and pre prestige that trade with Haven bought. After you left, my poor sad father... Oh, uh, we already heard about that. Um, What other offerings does the Vol have for us? There's a place of some traditional significance of the Southwest. It is called the Scorpion Pit. As you might guess, there are a lot of scorpions there. Alas, at some point in the rebellion, they all got loose. There's a lot of treasure there in various forms. If you clear out the scorpions, you may take all of the Vol's wealth there that you find. Tell me about the Scorpion Pit. It is a highly honored place of justice. It is where the Northern Vols condemned have been taken for executions for centuries. Its loss was quite a blow to us. We Vol are very serious about making sure that justice is done and done in line with our traditions. Why is there so much treasure there? When the condemned are captured and taken to the Scorpion Pit, it's traditional they leave an offering there before their demise. Oh, jeez. Let's them regain some honor, and it also buys a swifter end. I'm sure some of those valuables are there, eager to be your property. Do I need to kill all the scorpions? I hope not. We need some of them left to deal with the condemned. Just pair their numbers back and get rid of those who escaped the pit. This should be adequate. Why don't you clear it out yourself and then give me the treasure? Please understand, Prince. I honor Haven greatly. Not all do. If you restore one of our sacred places to us, that will help me to convince my allies to help you. Then we can be your vassal again, and we can all get rich. That's all for now, thanks. Okay, so... Um, I wonder if I go to the Scorpion Pit, if I can help the Owen. Or help the people there. Um... Basically... Uh... Um, let me see. Let me F3 here. Southwest. See if I can help the people who are condemned here to survive. Who are these guys? The Vol Water Bears are still at this intersection. Um, good day. They smile and nod as you pass them. Pity, that water sure did look good. Alright, here's the Scorpion Pit right here. For justice. The road through this arid valley is lined with stone pillars and bleached bones. The bones are human. They are gruesome trophies, giving a hint of what lies ahead. The sign ahead identifies this place as the Scorpion Pit. A pair of majestic towers are perched at the edge of a deep pit. 
This place must have a greater significance than its humble name implies. There are no guards visible, or workers, or scorpions for that matter. To the north you see a stone platform extending out over the pit. As you look around you hear a strangled shout to the north. A human finger, figure stumbles out from behind a stone pillar. The man you saw by the pillar is a vol scout. He leans on his sword to keep standing. He is covered with green slime, probably from the huge smashed scorpion on a nearby path. He is bandaging a nasty sting on his leg. He looks up at you. He is faint. I, I'm Nanar. Are you real? You are? Not an escape prisoner? I, he wobbles. Sorry, got stung. <clears throat> are you all right? Can I help you? He waves you away and finishes bandaging his leg. I'll be fine. Had worse. Just have to get back to Vitasa. I, he looks at you again. You're not a prisoner, not Vol at all. You're from Haven? Yes, I'm from Haven. Well, you should learn about us then. Welcome to the Scorpion Pit. Important place. We feed our worst criminals the scorpions here because... Not sure why we do it. Tradition, I guess. He gently pokes the sting wound on his leg. The scorpions got out. Swarm the place. Nobody has forced them back. How did the scorpions escape? Probably not enough guards. They all had to go fight rebels. Then someone forgot to close the door and swarm. Suppose I wanted to make this place safe. We'd appreciate it, I suppose. If you can go below and kill enough of the scorpions, a patrol can come in and take control. Lock the rest in. You should get back to safety. Nanar nods. Thank you. Good luck here. Watch out for the bugs. They're treacherous little beasts. He staggers off to the south. But what if I... Prisoner holding. Deposit all prisoners in West Tower, guests in East Tower. I don't know if I want to restore this place. Special encounter. This ledger is thick and old. It lists the last 200 years or so of condemned criminals who were fed to scorpions here. The crimes they committed to be sent here are pretty serious. A lot of murder, some treason, other offenses of similar importance. You know that the Owen, that no Owen have been sent here. Interesting. Oh, okay. Simple scorpions. Um... Nice cleave. Oh, there's more. Perfect. Okay. Oh, that poison hurt. This ledger lists those held for acution here when the scorpions escaped and swarmed. Three names jump out to you. Aziza, Yucatish spy. Adadanu, horse thief. Tearing necromancy. Hmm. Holding cell B. Holding cell A. Alright, let's go check the... Well, no, let's... F3 and check upstairs. There's a trembling fall hiding in a far corner of this room. He wears scavenged armor and holds a sword in an unsteady hand. He is sweaty and filthy. You can smell him from here. A key hangs from a chain around his neck. He says, I am a Dadanu, and you will not throw me off your ledge. I die a warrior. Who are you? I am a horse thief, I admit it, a lowly dishonorable thief. Still, I will not die dishonorably as food for vermin. I will die fighting. You stole horses, that all? Adadanu is surprised by the question. He looks more closely at you, only realizing now that you are not Vol. He says, in this harsh land, losing your horse often means death. It is punished as murder because it is so often becomes murder. I admit it, I will pay. 
Give me that key and I can spare you. There is no sparing for me now, only dying for an honorable cause, like freeing the vault from Haven. Maybe I can keep you from buying our independence. And then he lunges at you. Dardanu. Guess we have to fight him. Evasion. Um. Evaded. Evaded. Alright, let's, um. Knock him back and. Oops. Let's weaken him. One. Um, let's come here and stun him. Stun resist, slow resist. Dang. Bleed. Uh, bludgeon relentlessly. He's pretty tough. Dang. Um, bleed. Nice shot. Elspeth is poisoned. Um, Terrence, walk up to and heal Elspeth. Nice 26. Adadanu is dead. You take the key from around his neck. Alright, let's go ahead and heal me. Heal 25. Empty box. And. Ooh, 10 copper bits and an iron bar. Nice. But we need a lot more iron than that. Uh, let's head down. To condemned cells. Scorpion pit. Beware. Always keep door closed. <laughs> Scorpions in here. Ugh. Hmm, whirlwind. Um, whirlwind. Ate it, dang. Nice. Nice. There we go. Eleven copper bits and quicksilver. I just don't want them to set up this scorpion pit as used to kill people again, but let's go check out the guest towers now before going into the scorpion pit itself. Let's come up this way. Okay. Guest halls, priest quarters. You try to force this open the sturdy wooden door. It's been barred from the inside. 
The stone platform hangs out of the edge of the pit. Rows of sun-bleached benches are lined up facing it. Think back to your tutors forcing you to learn about vassal anthropology. This is a place for executions. Shows all the signs. Happily, the Vol only kills serious criminals here. Other vassals are less picky about their killing. Huh. Alright, let's go check out the scorpion pit. I'm not morally, like, into this, but... It is what it is. We unlock it. You are in a holding chamber between the cell block and the caves where all the scorpions swarm. The gate to the north is closed. The south gate is open. You get worried. After being repeatedly ambushed in the fall gates, you immediately suspect a trap. The south gate starts to close behind you. You try to stop it, but it's too fast. As it strikes the ground with a massive crash, the north gate opens. You can't be sure whether someone is intentionally trapping you or this is just an automatic system to keep the scorpions from escaping. Oof. Dang, why didn't they attack? Um, attack. Should be able to handle this pretty well if it's just scorpions. <laughs> nice cleave. Nice. Let's go ahead and cure. Let's go ahead and heal. I don't know if I want to press F3 yet. And end up saving down here where we're trapped. Defense is pretty rapidly. Okay. Oh, nine damage a piece. That's rough. And the th poison is still going. My goodness. All right, let's just hit F3. We'll quick save down here. Seems like we should be able to do it. Looking up, you can see a stone platform around 40 feet above you. This is where the condemned prisoners of the Vol meet their final fate. There are discarded loops of rope everywhere. You suspect the prisoners are bound and lowered down on these ropes. Once they are deposited safely on the ground, the guards above drop the rope. Then, well, scorpions. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have saved sand scorpions. Um... Uh, there we go. Oh, 
Oh, iron bar, 11 copper bits. F3. Let's come over this way. Oh, hello. Um. Ah. Poisoned again. Um, come here and I see wave. That works. Nice. Ah. Go ahead and get your weapon out. Whirlwind. Whirlwind. Go ahead and cure. Plus one energy. Go ahead and heal. Here, oof, big, big daddy scorpion, critical of eight, dang, scorpions are rocking me, that's surprising, alright, let's get this big one, it's by itself, so we should be able, to, oh no, it's not, Dang it. Let's get rid of this one. Critical of four, haste. Oof. Um, oh, dang. Go ahead and lead it. You've got to heal ASAP. That's one evaded critical nine, two, dang. Um, go ahead and haste Elspeth. Elspeth, come here and, oh wait, you have another, Terrence has a turn. Heal Matthew. Elspeth, come here and try to stun it. Invaded. Dang. Stop it. Minus 13. Oh my gosh. Weaken it. Um. You just come here and attack it. Ugh. Terrence, go ahead and heal him again. He's got two levels of bleeding. Elspeth. Um, stun? Nice. Stunned it. And it's still stunned. Minus 13. Dang. There we go. Curable effect. Um, go ahead and cure it. We've got a healing potion. Wow. That's a heck of a find. And 21 silver coins. Alright, that does it for down here. Scorpions, but there's this little area over here. Um... Steps. What is this room? Scorpion pit. Beware. Always keep door closed. More of a scorpion pit? Oh. Okay. Um. Shooty shooty. Stay where you are. And shoot. Oof, 
more poison. Elspeth, come up and whirlwind. Um, shoot. Um, shoot. Attack. Dang. Did I accidentally take my armor off or something? Attack. Attack. Oh no, now I'm vulnerable. Whirlwind. There we go. Uh, poison, curable effects. Do cure it. Two piles of wood, very nice. Um, time to head up. Huh. Terrence, go ahead and shoot the scorpion. Oh, there's a few of them in there. Dang, we're really being put to the sand scorpions yet. Being put to the test here. See if I can kill them evenly. And then hit him with a whirlwind. critical cool you know what just walk the poison off scroll of might very nice um i'm carrying two of them let's let elspeth carry one fine furs worth five apiece very nice oh he's still dying from poison F3, quick save. Let's come up here. Ooh, someone down here. In this very kin kitchen, you find an Ukatis shaman. You are very surprised to find one of the swamp folk here. Even more so by the scorpion she has lined up in front of her like trained dogs. She looks up at you and smiles. Hello, Prince Matthew. I knew you were on Sacramentum. I had no idea that I would meet you face to face. An Ukat? What do you... You know who I am? Don't be foolish. Everyone on this continent now knows that Queen Sharon has sent her least favorite child to slum among us. An Ukat? What are you doing here? I'm accused of being a spy. The Vol found me wandering around in their horrible wastes. And are you a spy? Of course I am. I came to this hellish land. The gall of them to look down on our swamps when they live in this sandy waste. I would only ever come here to gather information. What did you want to know? About you. Haven's return is the most significant event on Sacramentum in our lifetime. I was trying to find out if the Vol is becoming your favorite vassal again. We will not tolerate this. This isn't the way to get my help. As if you would ever help the Ukat. You think we are filthy. Your mother insulted us to our faces. However, if I kill you, you will not be able to help our enemies. This is a lucky day for the Ukat. You will never insult us again. Before you can respond, she makes a single gesture with her hand. The scorpions swarm. Okay, Terrence, I want you to move up here and shoot Aziza. Evaded. Um... You have a lot of magic, so go ahead and hit her with a C. Oh, she summoned a freaking serpent. Uh, go ahead and shoot her. Um, Elspeth, you go ahead and use a scroll of mercy. And then, whirlwind. 
Tailwind. Matthew, you head down one. And then Whirlwind. Nice. You go ahead and shoot um, some of the scorpions. What do we have here? Evaded poison. Ah. Uh, nice. She hasted herself and weakness. Um, Elspeth. Go ahead and whirlwind. Um, I'll go ahead and whirlwind. Shoot the scorpion. And shoot the scorpion. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Elspeth is gonna die. Um, go ahead and do a curing wave on us. Oh my gosh, how much magic does she have? Elspeth, use a potion. Come down here and stun if you can. Matthew. Just shoot her. Um... You go ahead and use powerful magic on her. She heals. Um, shoot her. Oh, jeez, Louise. We're getting rocked here. Um, Terrence, shoot. Uh, shoot. Elspeth, come down here and stun. I will go ahead and take care of this serpent. She healed the serpent. Really? Uh. Dang. Oh, well, we have a scroll of life, which is nice. Um, strong magic. Um... Leader. Nice. Oof. We're really getting rocked here. Oh my gosh. She's wicked tough. Use a potion. And then, um... Use a weakness. Uh, use a potion, and then use a bleeding on her. If we can just get through this alive, we'll be okay. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and F4. That's wicked tough, but we also went in pretty beaten up and bruised. Let's come through here. Locked. So we have to go this way. Um... Go ahead and see how long we've been playing. 49 minutes, so I'm going to save here. Sorry that it ends on uh, that note, but next time... Did I say this is 26 or 27? I don't know, but next time we'll go ahead and defeat Aziza. Focus all of our attacks on her, I think. And uh, we should be okay. So I want to thank you guys for joining me. Hope you're enjoying the LP so far. We are in the Scorpion Pit, and it's just getting rougher and rougher and I hope we didn't
a uh, quick save here to our demise, thinking, oh, it's just a scorpion pit with some scorpions, and then, you know, we still haven't faced a necromancer, which is going to be probably wicked hard, so stay tuned for all of that. Much love, peace, and joy, guys. Take care, and I will see you next time. Much more to come. So long.